can we use the McClintock effect, health mirroring neurons, emotional contagion, heart coherence, and brainwave synergy to heal the ones we love? That's in today's episode. We're going to go through a scientific route to see how this, or if this is possible at all. This is your bonus round. This is your third meditation lesson. It's the bonus round. Now, let me tell you, I got a big stake. Well, steak's not a good word. I got a big message. Potato to fry, whatever. Okay, I know, steak's not good. I mean, it's good, I like it, but anyway. Okay, so, as we know, lesson one, we went through the basic, the foundation, and that's getting yourself ready to meditate, finding a place, um, going through the body scan, um, paying attention to your heart rate, uh, pulsing, uh, then paying attention to your breath, okay, and doing your how to do your breath. We went through all that just to get your body ready to meditate. Lesson number two, um, we went in and we went a little deeper after you practiced that first part, and I introduced you to your mantra. The mantra takes you even deeper, okay? We talked about the gap, we talked about where we wanna go and what it feels like, where we're going, and then we ended up basically with you being able to practice with your new mantra, which opens with Om, closes with Nama, and inside you have your sound. So what we're doing today in the third lesson is really bringing it all together and looking at the effects we can have on our surroundings, on people around us, when we do this right. So I'm gonna try to explain today. We're gonna deep dive into the science. Follow me on this because it'll all make sense. There's some wordage in here, but don't worry about it. It'll get real simple. Okay, so the science of synchrony. Now, the McClintock effect was something that was discovered at science in the 1970s. And basically it's a phenomenon of women living together that start synchronizing their menstrual cycle. So. Now, this is because, you know, our atoms interact with each other. Our bodies interact with each other. If we're in a close environment, we'll affect each other, okay? And the scientific proof of this is how different women put together to live together, and I think it was a group of nuns where they, where they first saw this, actually start menstruating on the same time each month together synchronicity okay so more recent studies suggest that pheromones chemical signals emitted by the body can influence hormonal cycles what's the implication for meditation this biological synchrony underscores the fact that humans are deeply interconnected just as Pheromones can create hormonal alignment. Meditation creates an energetic alignment. When people meditate together, they align emotionally, cognitively, and physiologically. Now, what we've seen here in studies, and, and I've seen it myself, proven, tested it, that people that don't meditate, that are around a group that meditates, actually have some of the same health benefits that the meditating group gets so they get it vicariously because of this that's one second the ripple effect of meditation on health mirror neurons and emotional contagion okay neuroscience has shown that mirror neurons in our brains allow us to subconsciously mirror the emotions and states of those around us for example, when you meditate and enter a calm, focused state, your neural patterns can influence those in your immediate vicinity to enter a similar state of calm and presence. 
Now, you know, we did this. We did this way back. Uh, I, I went to. An, I was in an Anthony Robbins seminar. I did that long, long time ago, 25 years or more ago, um, maybe 30 now. Uh, and one of the things we were practicing was it there? Yes, it was there. I, I did it actually in a couple of different seminars I went to, but his was one of them, where we actually um, copied the state. So it's kind of neurolinguistic programming, okay, it's NLP. So we would copy a state. So there would be three people, and then one pe one person would go into thinking about something, something that happened that was very exciting, something that happened that was very sad. I need to have a lot of emotion with it, okay? So they would be in that state, and then two people would help me or whoever I would help them um, get to the same state. So I would mimic physically how they were sitting. Uh, I would mimic physically their breathing pattern, their heart rate, everything I could with my eyes closed to get exactly put my physiology like their physiology. And then I would basically feel and see what they were seeing. And it was amazing how accurate this was and how many people were able to do it. So this thing of interconnectedness is seriously strong. Okay, heart coherence. Studies conducted uh, by HeartMath Institute reveal that when people meditate or practice mindfulness, their heart rate variability, HRV, improves, creating a state of heart coherence. Intriguingly, this coherence can transfer to others in the room as humans are sensitive to electromagnetic fields generated by the heart. Here's another example. Here's another way that we connect without seeing. And so we're able to influence the people around us, our family members, people that we care about. Um, you know, if someone's laying, going, you know, on a bed and, you know, fighting illness, guess what? This could hugely help without them doing anything. It's you doing it. And inadvertently connecting to them. Now I'm going to tell you something else. Group meditation hugely powerful this is the next level for you you want to go deeper go to group meditation exponential power synergy in brain waves group meditation has been shown to synchronize alpha and theta brain waves amongst particip participants these are frequencies associated with relaxation creativity and deep meditative states the more synchronized the group, the deeper the individual experience becomes. So the group actually takes you deeper into that gap, faster into that gap. Um, it's a bigger experience. And I've done it so many times. And trust me, it is a massive difference compared to meditating alone. I want to go over one more study here, reduction in violence and stress. In a famous study in the Washington, D.C., a group of meditation, meditation experiments conducted by a transcendental meditation organization showed a measurable reduction in crime rates during the period when a large group of meditators uh, meditated together. This demonstrates the potential for group meditation to create ripple effects even at societal levels. Interesting, huh? Evolutionary perspective. Meditation and communal practices are ancient tools for human survival and cooperation. By meditating in groups, you are tapping into a time-tested method for creating harmony, alignment, and collective focus. The path that accelerates the journey. Epigenetics and ancient practices. Meditation mindfulness and other competitive practices have been refined for thousands of years and that's why i say it's so important to use an old method and that's why i like tm these methods influence gene expression activate gene related to stress resilience longevity and neuroplasticity standing on the shoulders of giants the wisdom of generations past created paths in consciousness 
by walking these paths, and that's why I'm saying we need to go with an old meditation technique, an old meditation system, because so many thousands and thousands and thousands of people have walked those paths, so they've created these paths in consciousness. By walking these paths, we benefit from a collective memory encoded in tradition. When we meditate, we are not just improving our individual health, we are participating in a shared evolution of human consciousness. So what are the key takeaways for the course? Meditation synchronizes us. Whether it's brain waves, heart coherence, or emotional states, meditating together aligns our systems in powerful ways. It's like tuning multiple instruments to the same frequency, amplifying the experience for everyone. And even if your meditation is next to someone that doesn't meditate or in a group, you will influence their health, their mental state, everything, their heart. Affecting health beyond the self, the ripple effects of meditation extends to the health and emotional states of those around you. By meditating, you contribute to a well-being of your immediate environment and potentially the larger community. Let's keep it at the medium environment. Um, this is what I'm saying. These are the tools that are being used. And remember, we went through scientifically each tool that contributes to this. Group meditation amplifies the gap. When meditating in a group, the collective energy strengthens the individual experience, making it easier to drop into the gap. You know, as much as I've done group meditation, every time I do it, it's a new experience and it's deepening every time. So make sure that once in a while you do that, you go out, you have a group meditation. Ancient practices, modern science. Old methods like group meditation work because they are deeply ingrained in human history and biology. Modern science validates these ancient truths, revealing their profound impact on our physiology, psychology, and the environment. When we meditate, we align not just our minds, but our very biology with those around us. Just as a woman synchronizes their cycles, shows the power of shared environments. Meditation synchronizes our hearts, brains, and energy fields. Group meditation is just an additive. It's exponential. Amplifying the benefits for everyone involved. These ancient practices, honed over millennia, create a path that accelerates our journey into the gap, deepens our stillness, and strengthens our shared humanity. Science now proves what wisdom has always known. When we meditate together, we thrive together. Thank you. See you next time. Subscribe, ring the bell notification, invite some friends. And remember, this was lesson one, two, and three. Go back to lesson one, go back to two, get your meditation on. Thank you. See you soon.